Hi guys, it's Cameron from the Mighty Blues. Just got back from Goodison Park. Very, very frustrating night at Goodison indeed. Everton's all in one all with Newcastle United. For me, it was it was a poor performance. I think I think it was a poor performance by us. Um, I think we looked very tired from the start. Now this was always you know going to be a worry from before kickoff. Was you know are, are these players going to be fit enough? Obviously after playing a big Merseyside derby on Sunday. Now Marco Silva brought in obviously Adam Ola Luckman. He brought in Cenk Tosin. He brought in Kurt Zuma. And I still think the team, they just we just didn't look up for it we looked like we just got out of bed the lads looked like they'd just woken up for me you know i just don't think we were quick enough we, we weren't we didn't have the urgency that we usually have we weren't straight to, to the toes of their players you know when they got the ball and, and i think in the end that's what that's what we you know ended up making us you know not not win the game at the end i think you know I, we were calling for adam ola luckman to start we were and i was i'm not going to sit here and say you know he was poor or he, he shouldn't have played i was calling for him to start he deserved his chance for me I think the thing is with Adam Ola Luckman is I think he's fantastic on the ball and today when he was on the ball he, he had some chances and he you know I think at times he played very well but off the ball I just don't think he he's got the demand I just don't think he he's good enough off the ball I think he finds himself and I was I was watching him quite closely this game because I thought this is your chance here you know obviously it was a chance for Cheng Tosin as well but I thought this is your chance Luckman to you know make your <clears throat> your case present to Marco Silva about why you should be in this team every week and I just think. Yes, on the ball, he done well in spells and he did do well. But off the ball, I just think he was a little bit poor. He, he was just a little bit standstillish. And I don't know whether that's because he, he was laziness or whether he, he just was catching himself sort of daydreaming throughout the game. But I'm not going to go too at Luckman. I don't think he was the worst player on the pitch. You know, again, like I said, I don't think he was fantastic. But when he had the ball, he done well. Cheng Tosin, obviously, it was a big opportunity for him. Massive opportunity for him. The thing I didn't really understand is... I would have thought that if Cheng Tosin was to come in, it would be to give Richarlison a rest, and Richarlison would sit out. Obviously, <coughs> Richarlison played on the left, and Bernard sat out, and I half understand that as well because Bernard is, you know, still getting fitter, and you know, he he, he deserves a rest as well. Um, but I just don't think Tosin, you know, took his chance. To be fair, he obviously misses that chance, which is an absolutely golden opportunity, and Gilfie Sigurdsson's as well. I don't even want to talk about Gilfie Sigurdsson's anywhere on the right-hand side of the goal and that ball goes in the back of the net, but he hits it straight out where the keeper's diving and where the defender's sliding. And Tosin, you know, <clears throat> it should go in. I just don't think I just don't think we were on the ball today. We looked very tired, like I said. We we didn't look like we were we wanted to, you know, go out and uh, and put in a, a strong, strong performance. We were, the, you know, I think we were much better in the first half. I do. We obviously we created the chances. We couldn't put them away, but we were creating them. In the second half, I thought, other than the last sort of 15 minutes, where we were really pushing for that second goal, for, you know, Yeri Meenan ended up going up front at one point. I think throughout that second half, we, we again just looked a little bit lackadaisical and we didn't really look like we wanted to really hit Newcastle and then that nearly bit us on the arse obviously in the second half when towards the end of the game they went and had a couple of one-on-ones fortunately enough they weren't good enough to, to put the ball in the back of the net but for me a very frustrating night at Goodison Park uh, hopefully again one that we can forget about we're now forgetting about two games um, Jordan Pickford the fourth played well I don't think the goal was his fault I don't think the goal was Mina or um, Mina or Zuma's fault either. I think it was just poor defensively. For me, it was poor by Seamus Coleman. I don't think Coleman had a good game at all. I don't think Digne had a good game. I don't think Garner Gay had a good game either. I think the goal is poor on Coleman because he should stick a foot in before the cross comes in and he allows the cross to come in the box. But anyway, less the negativity. On to the next one. At least we didn't lose. On to Watford on Monday night. Hopefully the lads will have had a good enough rest uh, that they'll be fit enough to, to compete and to go at Watford. And, you know, let's go at them and, and press and do what we're best at doing because we, we were, weren't really on the ball today for me. Yeah. But yeah, frustrating night at Goodison Park. Ended one all between Everton and Newcastle United. Hopefully one we can forget along with the derby. But yeah, thank you very much for watching.